What's up guys? I have these two really cool tape dispenser designs that are going to be entered into the Prusa design contest. This first one is called Scotch Tape. If you like puns, I recommend that you check out the link to the short in the description below. Now, on to the second one. The Chain Chomp Tape Chomp. Now stay tuned and we'll check this one out. I'm going to start with the head of the chain chomp. For this I used standard supports. They came off fairly easy and left a really good surface finish on the inside of the part. The geometry of the supports was also pretty cool. Next I worked on the chain chomp body. For this I used tree supports utilizing the new Cura Beta. These looked really cool but were slightly difficult to remove. I recommend cutting the two main tree supports and then the other parts come off pretty easy. Once again, the inside surface finish looked really nice and the parts seemed to fit together perfectly. Next, I painted the chain chop. After this, I attached the tailpiece. For this, I just used a little bit of super glue and placed it into the slot I designed on the back. Next, we can attach the two halves of the chain chomp together. For this, the top half just slides right onto the bottom half and connects using the two pin holes on the sides, right by the edges of the jaw. For this, you should hear an audible click. This click will let you know that it's locked into place. And man, does it look creepy without eyes. It's time to install the tape. For this, I recommend using some double-sided tape or super glue to hold the tape in place. This is a little bit easier than a bracket because some of these tape dispensers come in different sizes. Eyes proportioned by Miyamoto himself. You should position the eyes right above the edges of the mouth. This will get their proportions to be accurate to the game. I recommend getting eyes with sticky backs, but the ones that I got require super glue. Now, if only I had something to hold the eyes on while the glue is dry. Oh wait, this is a tape dispenser. We get to use our chain chum for the perfect tape chum. I struggled way more than I'd like to admit trying to use that tape. So let's just check out the final result. As you can see, it looks really good and pretty accurate to the game. I go as far to say is that this tape dispenser is off the chain. Now. Let's fix that. The chain chomp chain is by far the most difficult part to print. You're gonna to wanna to print it with at least 50% infill and you want to orient the part at a 45 degree angle to ensure that there aren't any crazy overhangs. Also, I recommend using standard supports, only touching the build plate and a raft. The, the raft probably isn't completely necessary. previously attempted to print the part with tree supports and without orienting it at the 45 degree angle and I got a pretty bad build failure. It printed completely but the chains all dissolved when I tried to take them apart. To attach the tail of the chain chomp, you want to make a small cut in one length of the chain. This can be a separate length or it could be attached to the other chain of links. Next, you want to spread that link apart and clip it onto the chain chomp body. This is a little difficult, but it's 100% doable and there's enough room so that you can bend the chain link and make this attachment. Once that's done, you can attach the rest of the tail. And there we have it, our chain chomp. 
came out looking pretty good. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it came out really well. I had some other ideas for modifying the teeth to make them a little bit more realistic, but I ended up uh, nixing that idea due to some safety issues. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Give me some comments below and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.